Hey everybody, welcome back to craftingonabudgetstore.com. I want to welcome you back in. We are working on the Minte Time of Wonder beautiful, beautiful paper collection. And we are on our fourth page and our final page. Um, and today um, in this video, we are going to finish this page and then we are going to work at adding little die cuts and maybe some chipboards and some words to the um, pages before we stick them in our book. So let's um, start by just reviewing what we've done so far. This is our first page, which is just the frame page. And the reverse side has pockets, two pockets. Then we have our little window door page that opens up and we have a belly band in here. And I'm probably just going to tie this in a knot for now. And then the reverse side of that, we have our mirror image pages. So the back of this page and the front of this page are mirror images. Um, and we did, we did have a little mess up if you were at the last video, I, I, I had it glued to the wrong page, but we were able to fix our mistake without, without much damage. <laughs> so just add in a little bit of extra glue there. It looked like it was coming up. Um, so thank goodness that worked out okay. So we have our mirror image page. And then on the reverse side, we have this flip page where we have one, two, and then we have the main page. So those are the three pages we've done so far. And now we're working on page four, which is our fourth and final page. Um, this is a four page book. I'm just grabbing some of that glue. You know how that glue gets on from when you rip them out of the pad? There's some glue there. So I want to get rid of that. All right, now remember again, our pages go in this way, so you always want to make sure your hands can go in like that. Very important. I might try to zoom you in a little bit, so hold on one second. So you can see a little bit better. All right, so for this page, we're going to have our background piece. We're going to have, this must be for the opposite side. That keeps knocking over everything. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. All right, you have to go now. You have to go now. Hold on for one second, guys. I'll come see you later. All right. Sorry about that, guys, but uh, she wants attention. She wants to jump up, and I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Not with everything else that's gone wrong today. So, let me see here. Why do I have this piece? I'm just. I, I'm really just looking at what I have going on for. Okay, so that's going to go there. Okay, this, oh, okay, I think I was going to use this instead of using a whole piece of paper. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Okay, all right, so this piece is five by seven and a quarter. And you want to score on three sides, a half an inch all the way around, so that we can create a big, tall pocket for this page. So that's what's going on this side of it. So let's add this to our page. And then I'll tell you what the mats are. I'm doing a lot of talking today. I'm sorry if I'm losing my voice. Okay, remember line it up with one corner first and then you should have no problem. Okay, 
trying to get rid of these little tape things because they're everywhere. All right. So now we have this piece here and this mat I did not measure for some reason. It is six by four and an eighth. I'll leave that ruler out. Six by four and an eighth. Okay. And we'll put that there. And then we're going to put this one up here. And this one is six by one and three eighths. All right, there we go. Nice. And then on these, this pattern paper that's in your six by six pad, as you can see, I have a couple left. Um, my pages are falling. Hold on one second, guys. And yes, I am wearing a robe. I got really cold in my room. I don't know why. Um, I just cut off a strip of this to go across here. So it's just one of these strips and it goes across here. I just thought it added a little something to it. All right. So that's pages done. Easy peasy. Now the reverse side is going to be a little different. Um, and we are going to need some seam binding because we're going to have Kind of like almost like a present maybe i would call it um there's two of these pages of cut aparts in the six by six and they're three by threes and you need all both pages so i'm just letting you know you can see this was the reverse side of the cover because one was on the cover and see this has a little pink edge to it oh my goodness must not have cut it right. I have got to get more space. I don't know. It amazes me how I was able to work in such a small area before, but now I, th I think paper crafting just takes up more space. I really do. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put something in the inside and I thought this would be pretty because I love still love this page and then what we're going to have are pieces we're going to put these on the top we're going to put these on the black first before we lay this down but we're going to have pieces and I'm going to give you the dimensions in a minute that are going to look like this and then there's going to be side to side one side and one side okay so it's kind of kind of look like a present it's just some triple um flips and i think that we will just need some seam binding to go across again so the first thing we're going to do is let's add a piece of seam binding So that we can make sure that we can hold this together. I mean, you could use magnets if you want to, but I think for a small project like this, I don't really think magnets are needed. This again is about 24 inches. I'm just finding the middle and then I am going to put some tape down to hold my seam binding down. Okay, so we'll put the seam binding down first. Okay. 
Okay. Now next, we're going to use these pieces. We're done with this one. Next, we're going to take three and a quarter by three and a quarter pieces. And we're going to score a half an inch. Oh, I'm sorry. Three and a quarter by three and three quarters. And we're going to make four of them. And then when we score them, we're going to score them on the three and three quarters inch side at a half an inch. And so this is going to give us our flaps. So I'm going to start by putting one down. One down at a time. Now, I'm eyeballing it as to does that and so that really the middle but it doesn't really matter to me but when I do do this next one I match it up with this one so see how I overlap it before I glue it down I'm overlapping it on this one so that I know that they are aligned perfectly okay um, I'm gonna do it reverse because I can't see it there's a little bit of a glare but that's what I'm doing So those line up nice and then we're going to do the same thing with the sides um, we may have to add a little glue now to our seam binding because we are going to be putting some tape over these sides here there we go and now we'll do the same thing with the side pieces kind of just eyeball it to where you think the center is doesn't have to be perfect and then I'm going to take this other piece and I'm going to repeat it on the other side just like we did before making sure that it's lined up with that one and there we have it Okay, so now we can glue our middle piece in because everything is glued down, our seam binding is glued down, and this will, you won't see our hinges now, which is nice. Okay, so here we go. Put this piece down. And then let's put these in order so that we have the nutcracker, the heart, we have two hearts, two bows, two birds, and that. So let's start with, I think we'll start with the nutcracker up on the top part. Again, these are just cut out from the, I didn't trim them off any other way. They were just, and then I lift this and I think I'll put the heart underneath here. The heart underneath there. And then one will probably go over the other like that. And then on this side, let's put the birds. And the birds there. Okay, and then the bow will go over here. Yep. And then on the reverse side, we'll change the images so that they're not the same. Oh, 
a bit. There we go. Pretty. Okay, so now maybe we'll do the bird up here. And maybe we'll do the bow down here. So we're just changing up the order so it's not the same. They're the same images, but the order is different. There we go. And then we'll put the nutcracker over here. No, I think I'll put them over here and the heart on the other side. that and one more in the heart and it's got some of that glue from the pad the paper pad and put the heart here cute my heart got a little ripped so I'm just gonna glue it down I got a little overzealous when I was pulling the cover off so There we go. So then these will go in. These will go in. That one can go on top. And then this will get tied to hold it together. So there is our four pages. So now, before we put them in the book, I have this. I have these two for the inside cover. These are going in the inside cover. So let me put them over there so we don't lose them because these are the only. I have three pages left of the um, six by six, and I used two pages. Um, for backgrounds of the um, 12 by 12 just to give you an idea of the how much paper I've used just so that you can kind of gauge it if you want to do this project like what to order um, we are going to be doing other projects with the 12 by 12 papers and the you know the remaining papers you know me I don't like to leave anything unused so trust me we'll we'll be using them in fact I have a couple of pieces of where I cut cut off on the big 12 by 12s um oh, is this a six by six no this was the 12 by 12 okay so i do have some extra pages so we'll be using these scraps they will not go to waste all right so i think what we'll do next is we'll look at the ephemera pack and see oh i do have one partial strip of this because remember i cut one strip so i do have some of that i think that would make that would make such a cute mini book so that's what i'm thinking um Let's look at, these are the die cuts. And there's quite a bit of them. Oh, they're so beautiful. But see, I was thinking, you know, pop dot, you know, we're starting with the first page. I'm saying let's pop dot some stuff. Oh, look at the cute little bow. Oh, my gosh. There's a little gingerbread. Oh, my gosh. You can make like a little gingerbread scene. So I'm kind of just grouping them so that we can see them. There's a little stocking, some ornaments. Here's some greenery. More greenery. We have trees we have 
presence the eight point setter. I wonder if I should use a big one. I could use a big one and then a small one up here. Yeah, pop dot those. Just the, these, getting these little elements is wonderful because they just add so much dimension to your books. Look, I mean, look at the gingerbread stuff is so cute. So I'm just trying to see what I have first before I start, you know, going to town with myself. I, which is very unlike me, right, guys? Because I usually just start doing whatever I want. <laughs> But I really want to see, like, everything. This gingerbread. Oh, my gosh. Look at the stockings. The little snow. Oh, my gosh. Look at the snow globe. <gasps> so cute. These little gingerbreads. Oh, my gosh. I don't even want to use those. I want to hoard those because I want to make something with them <laughs> I don't know what but I do so I'm just kind of laying it out you can't see well yeah you can see all of it that's great <laughs> um so that as we go through the book here's another lantern here's another star as we go through the book we can kind of say mm, that might look good there oh that might look good there lots of stars there's two different size bows. I love that there's so many different sizes of things. But this little joy. There's another star. Here is the tree. Oh, what I'm using. Look at the little bird. Oh, I might even put the bird in here. Wouldn't he be cute? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. And then here's all the poinsettias. Now here's a smaller one. I think that was actually meant to go there. I think these are for the bigger 12 by 12. So I'm going to save those for the bigger ones. Put those there. Here's, oh my gosh, look at the nutcracker. More gingerbread. snowballs and there's a Merry Christmas and a package a big nutcracker and big poinsettia okay so let me get my little pop dots because I definitely want to add those the poinsettias right to the frame that's just a no-brainer Easy peasy. But it really does, get, it does just make the page pop. It really does. I also want to grab my words. I mean, look at just that changes everything. Um... I have the words with the chip chipboard pieces. So let me take this out because I could totally see us using some of this stuff. You know, some of it I have to save for what for all the other projects, but it's my favorite part of the book is adding all these little touches to it so let's take that out for now i just love this i believe in santa let's meet under the mistletoe i like this christmas joy oh they're sticky too i like that I might want to use this Christmas joy on here. So we're kind of going to be going back and forth. Yeah, I like that. Christmas joy. Put that like that. 
Now, this reverse piece, do I want to maybe put some presents? Or a star? No, let's have a little think. I also have all those pop outs like this one. I love time of wonders. Maybe we'll use this. Yes. Hmm. Time of Wonders. I'll put that there. I like that. This is why I like getting all the elements to go with everything. And I do like this little banner. I just have to think if I'm going to make a banner somewhere else. Maybe we'll use Christmas wishes. Put it here. Christmas wishes. And maybe we'll have a little star there. Yeah, I like that. Oh. Uh-oh. Did I dry up again? Even with the pin in it. Crazy. There we go. There we go. Hmm. Why is that not sticking? I didn't press down enough, I guess. Yeah, that's not coming up. I must not have put it good. Oh, I like that. I think that's so sweet so so sweet and we could use um let's see let me look at our little scraps here we could we could make a pull out hmm I'm going to think. I think I'm going to wait on that because that would really be a good place for pictures, memories. Okay, so that one is good. This one is the Christmas window. And this we have the belly band, so we need something on this belly band. We could put the nutcracker there. It kind of blends in now. Um, we could put gifts. I do like the idea of putting like a collage of gifts and then maybe a little little saying it, it says christmas gifts so we could use that one we put that one on the bottom we can move that up a little bit yeah 
Okay, so I'll put Christmas gifts. Oh, is that going to fit? Oh, that just fits. Christmas gifts. And then we'll put our little Christmas gifts. I like them going in different directions, so. But if you like them straight up and down, again, that's up to you. And I apologize for the glare, guys. But there's really nothing I could do about it. And when I taped at night, it was really dark. I'm going to put that one like that. There we go. Cute. And then I do want a tree here. And I am going to pop dot that. Mm, with this. I, I, you know what? I'm realizing that I'm not really in a frame here. I apologize. In an effort to see all of the little stuff, I moved you guys way out of position there. Sorry about that. I'm just putting two foam pieces on here. I'll put my tree down here. Love the tree. And then I wonder if we could do I was thinking of the bow. I think I'm just going to put the bow there. I like it. Put the bow here. Cute. So cute. Oh my goodness. Love it. I absolutely love it. But I knew I would because I loved, I just fell in love with this paper the minute I saw it. I just had to have it. Had to have the whole collection. All right, do you do the other side? No. Okay. Oh, here's the mirror image pages. So what we do to one, we should really do to the other, or at least try to. Um, we could do Merry Christmas across there. I kind of do like that, even though it hangs over a little bit. But I could add a little... Um, we could add a little... Oh, wait a second. We gotta look, pretend that we're looking at these like on the same page here. So there's that, there's that. Maybe put, no, I don't want another bow, but maybe a star. Merry Christmas. I do like that. I also like those circles in the cut aparts that are, they're really cute. Although we could put some leaves, we could do the littler ones, and some leaves, and then maybe something coming, let's see, do I have two birds or just one? I have to. Maybe we put the birds one like that, one like that. That looks cute. I don't want to overdo the pages, but I don't want to underdo them either. And since it already says Merry Christmas, I'm not going to use words on this one, but I do like that. 
So let's go with it. So I'll put my Mary. And I'll put my star. And the only reason I'm putting the star is for balance because the Christmas is such a long word. And so I feel like it needs something else there because this goes straight across. You see, look at this glue with the tip. You could just do whatever you need to do with it. Oh, that's what I love about it. So I'm going to put Christmas here. with the birds is you can't really see them that good unless I add like a have another one of those little ones yeah kind of like that I mean I could even see it's same color though, color on color. I don't like without these. Yep, where's the other one? I know I have another one. This one's a little bit smaller. But that's okay. Oh, that's cute. I like that setup. is going to go like that. So it's just like a little tiny bit of a collage. I hate to mess it up when I'm doing it. Like I try to glue underneath it instead of picking all the pieces up, but sometimes it's impossible. I'll do this little piece so it stick out more and then here we go with this and I'll bring it up to you so you can see see the mirror pages I love doing mirrored pages in a book I just I love it it's one of my favorite things to do. Okay, now here is the flip page. We could, do we have any more little poinsettias? Nope. So we can't do that. Really? We could do maybe a, uh, a word up here. Uh, I do like this Our Christmas Wishes. Okay. You really, I don't really want to do anything to this because, I mean, besides putting a star, but I use the small star, so I can't really use that. Um... You know, but on a, a blank piece like this, we could make a little we can make a little thing here. Like a little border. That looks sweet. I like that. And then put oh yeah, I get it. I get exactly what I'm gonna do. 
Okay. Put this guy here. This guy here. That's the same size, okay. This guy here. Whoop. This guy here. And then I like this. Uh oh, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Time of Wonder. Isn't that perfect for the top? Oh my goodness. I didn't center that too good. There we go. Time of wonder. Look how cute that looks. Just by adding a few little elements. Now this page is a really busy page. Um, I might want to add the wonder of the season, but maybe down here. Kind of just really blends with it though, doesn't it? I'm going to put this one back. I'm going to have a rethink. I think maybe we'll use Christmas time. And just put it down here. Yeah, I like that. Christmas time. Okay. And then, really, I don't want to add to these pages. I think it will take away from how pretty they are. So we'll leave that. Okay. So we did that, we did that, we did that. And I just lost the whole order that they were in. <laughs> Wait a second. This was our first page. It's because this is going in like that. Then we have this and this. Okay, and then we have this, so we have to decide. I think I want that to go first, and I'm not going to add any, any cut aparts on that side, but we will do something on this side because this side is really plain. Um, I do like this Let It Snow. Let's see. Let it snow and come across here. I just want to make sure I'm kind of kind of in alignment. Oh my goodness. How many times am I gonna to have to do that? There we go. Let it snow. to love the little stockings I wish there was a bunch of them but maybe let's see we got one two three maybe we could do like these little the little banner pieces I love these pieces and do One, I think I'm just going to do three, two, three. Yeah, I like that. Look at how cute. Oh, that looks really cute. And then maybe we have let it snow let it snow um 
Yeah, I don't really want to add something to that. So I think that's all we're going to add to that. So now we have our pages in the right order. Let me just set them to the side for a minute. Let me close my glue. Oh, I'm going to need my glue for my inside papers. My inside papers. See, I have this on the cover. So, we could do, I have one more of these. So, we could do this one. And then do pink over here, which I do like. That way we have two different scenes and then maybe we'll add some, a word and, and something on here. So let's, let's do this. And then we may want to add a word or flowers or something on the cover. I'm not sure yet. You know, the paper is just so beautiful. It's kind of like, I don't want to take away from the paper. Because I think you, you'll miss out. Okay. So let's put this here. Back here. And maybe we'll do the wonder of the season on this one. Wonder of the season. Yep. Perfect. And. Hmm. I wonder. I just thought of something. Hold on. Let me move our covers again. I see. That word might have to get glued down. Here's our. No, it's not going to fit. And this should be pink. I just noticed that, guys. Oh, my goodness. All right. It's okay. We're not going to stress. We already had a problem with this page already. Luckily, I have more pink. I can rip this right off, I think. Oh my goodness. It's a good thing I left. That wasn't your image at all. <laughs> all right. Well, I have a pink strip here. I wonder if I could just use this. Yeah. No, I can't because it's not, um, not enough pink. But I can do this. So, let's put a whole new. Oh, well, maybe I'll cut it out of this strip. We want it to be six for sure. And I don't know. Maybe two and a half. I just want to have enough to cover up my mess in there so it looks clean. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Crisis averted. But see, guys, this is, you know, we all make mistakes when we're doing our books or doing our things. You know, don't get discouraged. 
please don't get discouraged because it really it's not a big deal if you make a mistake you can you know usually rip it or do something see i was thinking these things this oh holy night on one and then love and joy on the other although maybe i could put no let me put that back we'll save that for the other projects all right so we're good to go good to go good to go we got them in order and now comes the stressful part getting them in the book and i know you're probably saying how could that be stressful it is the most stressful part of the whole book so let's clean up a little bit get ourselves organized As we got these die cuts, I don't want to lose. And hopefully all these videos will go up today so that you have something to look at and maybe make. Oh, I wanted to leave these out in case I wanted to use one for the front cover. Um, let me just I'll just leave them in a pile for right now I basically know what's in there so put them in a pile okay all right let's get let's to the hard part now <laughs> the best part for last the hardest part no, it's not hard. It's just, you, it's a little stressful as well because you just want to make sure that you're not putting your, I'm going to need my little pokey tool for sure. You just want to make sure that you're not putting your pages all the way to the edge of the hinge. And I'll show you what I mean up close so that you can see so you don't do it. You see where our tape is on these hinges? This tape doesn't go down to where the hinge starts to move. So when you glue this in, you don't want to glue it so that it's hitting the spine. You want to glue it a little bit away from the spine. Now, some people like to work from back to front. I like to work from front to back. So that's how I'm going to be doing mine. And I do one little bit at a time. And you're going to see what I mean when I tell you. I'm going to take these down. I'm going to need my little pokey tool. Oh, man. These are stubborn. But this is what I love about this tape. So I can, I'm not complaining because I, I love this tape. This is the best score tape ever. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit down. And now I'm going to remember. Huh? See, I didn't remember. Wow, it's a good thing I caught that. I almost put, I almost put it on the wrong way. I put this label on the wrong way. Remember how I kept telling you guys to not put stuff on the wrong way? I almost did. Okay, so I move these over and now I open this center and I'm going to gently put it on the hinge. Hmm. There we go. And now see, I'm not moving it all the way down but i do want to move these because i got to pull these down <laughs> i want to pull those i want to make sure i could pull those in the right direction so um again i'm slipping this down but i'm not slipping it all the way down got it down enough now i'll pull one strip pull my other strip and just make sure it's even. So 
here we go and then you'll come to the reverse side and just use your little pokey tool to pick out the score tape that's in there and we put two pieces probably could have got away with one just saying go okay wait a second why is that going the wrong way it's going the wrong way because I, I know exactly why because I had my paper reversed remember when I said I put that label on the wrong way this is why and these are good because they come up easy um, this is why you really got to watch the direction and I should have been paying more attention instead of talking But you know what it is I get so excited As soon as the fun things come out, I'm like, oh, I can't wait. All right, so let's make sure I did this one right Yes, I did that right and this is one of the mirror images. So here we go next page page two Page two is going in. And sometimes when you have layer upon layer, you got to really find that center. And I did. And see, just that little cut that we made on the hinge makes it so much easier. It really does. Okay. There we go. That looks like it's a little. No, it's okay. Well, it is a little off. I don't know why. I don't think I could get back in there and fix it, but we'll see. I can't get in there, so it's going to have to be a little teeny crooked, but it's okay. There we go. Now here, let's make sure our embellishments are correct. Yes. And here we go with our mirror image. Again. Let's see where we're at here. I'm trying to find my middle. So that says Christmas memories. Oh, that's cute. I like that. And then our final page. Oh, I didn't do that. Did I do that? 
Okay, that's him. <laughs> Yeah, I think I would just use one piece of tape, to be honest. I don't really think you need two. Okay, we'll put in our last page, and then we'll look and see if our cover needs something. All right, now how does this page go? It has to go this way. And that's correct on that side. What? Get in there. That one's blocking it. It's blocking that. There you go. Put that in. There we go. Pull our two tapes. And then we'll get the other tape. We'll attempt to get the other tapes. <laughs> you see how I hardly talk during this process, guys. <laughs> this process, I don't really do too much talking. Here we go. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Oh, it's adorable. Oh my gosh. And then see, you have your, your ribbon here to tie your book. Now you can put, inserts in those pages. I'm not putting inserts into anything until I see what kind of paper I have left. So that's why you don't see me adding, going like crazy, adding stuff. Um, there we go. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute. Oh my goodness. It's so stinking cute. I absolutely love it. Now for the cover, what could we do? I mean, I thought maybe adding flowers. I, I had that thought in my head. Um, I just don't know because I really don't want to take away from anything and I think that if I did that I would be taking away so I have one more of those left but I don't want to fussy cut everything out of this paper and just put everything on pop dots I don't think that would look right um and these ephemera pieces like see where the lantern is is too big these were really made for the um other one but let me see i did get those 49 market flowers remember plus i have regular i don't know pink flowers those are those pink flowers that I got. But I don't know if this is going to go the way I want it to. Because this is, I don't know, they seem a little too bright. This one doesn't. But 
don't know. It kind of take it kind of just takes away. It takes away from it. I don't. It's the first time I've ever done a book where I didn't put something on the front. The only thing I could think of is maybe. Hold up, I have an idea. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. I'll fix that later. Hold on one second. I just have an idea. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, it might be in my container. What's we'll down here? Let me see. Because it would be cute to have a little something going on. Let's see. The problem is going to be do I have matching ones? Just my little corner pieces. Well, let's see what I have. This would be nice. If I have, oh my gosh, I need one more of that one. One more of these one. I should have them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Okay. I do like that little thing too. This. Maybe. Maybe. I want that one. Just look at my little, you know, sometimes you have little tiny pieces. I don't always have a lot of little tiny little food bags to kind of add to things. But I'm looking. I'm checking, guys. And some pink ones. Okay. I'll just hold on a second. Alright. Pink, pink. Hmm. Not so pink. I love adding little blings. So let's see. Let's let's check this out. See what we see here. What about if we did photo corners? I like that. I just have to figure out which color I want now. Too dark. And this is like pewtery. No, I like these. I like the bright silver. So yeah, let's do some photo corners. This needs the wire from my Oh my gosh, I got glue everywhere. Just add a little bit of something. There's one. I don't know if I got these from May. I think I did. I don't think they're Tim Holtz. No. Okay. 
I like this. It's just giving it a little framing. It's not over the top. It's not really taken away from the design. Which is great. Because we don't want that. The pictures are just too pretty. There we go. Oh, that's cute. And then I didn't know if I wanted to add like little, these little pink bows on the packages. Uh, I don't, they don't really match. And I don't think I have little, wait a second. I don't, but I don't know if that would look cute either. I do have rhinestones, like little baby rhinestones. Let me see where I put them. Mm. I don't know if I put them over here or not, guys. I have stuff everywhere. Mm. I don't know where my baby rhinestones went. I'll just zoom you in so you can look at the cute cover. It's adorable. Ah, one of my strips. Let me see if I can reach over. I'm gonna have to go around the other way. This is the problem with my setup. Like the wires are everywhere, so it's hard for me to um, put the light on. So, oh yeah, I got them. These, I actually got, believe it or not, I got these at Walmart. I don't know if they still have them, but maybe we could put a few of these on. They're AB light crystals, but they have some tiny ones. So I thought maybe, maybe we could put some on the tree. trying to close my glue so hold on a second I have to remember to keep putting my glue showing my glue I wish you could yell at me through the screen <laughs> and remind me That's one second, guys. My glue definitely got clogged up. Don't want that to happen. Okay. All right. So let me just see if I could pick these up with my little pokey tool. I think would probably be the best way to pick them up. You see, like, just add some bling.
that up. Just adding little pieces of bling. Nothing really like terribly big. I'm using really tiny ones. See how tiny those are? This is what it looks like on the you should want to look for them. But then I could use the bigger one, like the medium sized ones. If I can get them off. Ooh! They're like on top of the presents. And maybe in the bow. Oh. Or. Oh yeah, see, I like that. I need like a little tweezers or something for these guys. They're so little. It's so hard to pick them up. And they go rolling around. There we go. Little one there. And see, this is a simple, easy way to not really distract from the whole beauty of the paper. Well, I mean, stuck to me. <laughs> I need tweezers. I don't think I have tweezers in here, so I just have to go with what we have. There we go. I'm sure this is like watching glue dry, right guys? It's probably so boring, but I think it just adds a little something. I definitely need one in the bow. I'm going to use a bigger one. star in the center of the star. It's like this paper, you just don't want to use so much of anything. There we go. Get in the center before I push you down. Oh my goodness. There we go. Wow. These things are feisty. I think if you had a little, a little, uh, some kind of tweezers, I think you would do good with it. Do much better with it. <laughs> Big one in this star. So it's just adding a little bit of something. It's not adding like dramatically, but it is making it cute. And I like adding it to the tree because it just makes it glitzy. And you could probably use like stickles. I don't have stickles. So stickles... Um, But I think you could probably use stickles would be really cute too. But these little teeny ones are so cute. They're so small though. I'm trying to get them off the card here. It's like crazy. But the finishing touches are always fun to do. I see we need another one on the, I see another gift without one, so we'll put this one on this gift. 
is really sweet. Well, I think I'm going to add too many more. Put one in this star. I like the oop. I like it because you have a little bit of time to set up. Not much, but a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks cute. I don't know if I want to... Maybe I'll add just a couple more little ones to the tree. But I don't think I'm going to be adding any more. I was maybe a little one in that poinsettia. Up there. And then maybe just a couple little more, more in the tree here and there. Just to give the tree a little, a little something. Wow, they stick. These would be good now. Okay, maybe one more. And I have one more left, so I'll just use this final little tiny one. And I think we'll call it a day. We'll call it a wrap. And like I said, we may come back to this book at the end when we're all done with everything that we wanted to do. And maybe like look and see if there's something we want to add but for right now I don't want to be waste going wasting too much paper when I have other projects that I want to do with it so it's kind of like we have to just wait a little bit and see but that really does change it I don't know if you guys can really see it Ah, too bad you can't really see it good. But it just adds a little sparkle. And I like the corner edges. I think that looks really pretty. I love it. I think it came out great. I hope that you guys love it too. And like I said, we probably will go back to it at some point to maybe add something else. Maybe add the insert pages, but we don't know what we're going to do yet until we're done with all the paper. And I want to make a folio with the bigger paper. So I really don't want to start cutting into that paper for inserts for this. But these pages do need some inserts. I, I like having inserts on all my pages. So, you know, we'll, we'll see about that. But for now, I think it's good. I think we have a lot done and you know aside from the inserts I'm not I don't really think we're going to be adding anything else to this book um, let me zoom out a little so you can see it better it's just it's just really cute the pages fit nicely in there so you know there's room you know, you're not, you know, so if we want to add tags and things to all those pockets, which we probably will do, I just am really waiting on, on the reserve pieces. You know what I mean? I'm just waiting. In fact, I might just use plain pink paper, maybe some accents or some of the die cuts to put on the tags um, to kind of conserve on the paper. But I definitely want to put some tags in here and paper inserts. We just have to wait um, and see how that goes. But there you guys have it. Our first little project, a six and a half by six and a half mini album. I hope you enjoyed it. This is great for any six by six paper pad that you have. And um, it didn't take a, a ton of the extra paper. It only took two sheets. And we do have 
some you know pieces like this left um you know piece like this left so we have some scraps left but it did take two sheets of 12 by 12 and it took i have one let me see how many pages i have left of the six by six one uh, that's a, that's part of the um 12 by 12 when I cut them apart. So I have one, two, three pieces of the six by six left. That's it. And um, I would like to make a little mini book with these. So I'll definitely be using, you know, one of these. We might use some of these on tags since I have an extra sheet to kind of fill in the book. But again, uh, when I do have that extra little piece from the six by six because remember i cut one piece off for a border um so yeah so we don't have that much left but what we do have we'll definitely use in whatever other projects we do so like i said i keep all my my extra little bits and pieces and till the very end and then we will see how many projects we get out of this these projects are using a lot more paper than um, some of the other ones, so I don't know if we'll have as many projects as we had with the, um, just forgot what that Christmas one, uh, Halloween one what it was called. Oh, 31, Prima 31. I don't know if we're going to have enough, like Prima 31, to do that many, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, you know, we're just taking it slow. This is the first in the series. And we have a lot of other Christmas papers and things to use as well. I am noticing that the chipboard pieces, I'm seeing my chipboard piece here is going to need some, uh, I think I'm going to put tape on it. Some of these chipboard pieces, sometimes they don't stick as well when you have like a bunch of layered stuff. So I'm just going to add this wonderful score tape. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have it back. Oh, you have no idea. It was like torture. Let it snow. There we go. I think I used one other one. Well, Christmas, that seems to be staying. Christmas wishes, that seems to be staying good. And this coming up a tiny bit, but I think it's okay. Mm, not really. I'll fix that one too. I just happened to notice out of the corner of my eye that something was like hanging out of the book. And I was like, what is that? So, best to be on the safe side. This joy. Put that there. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And we did different things on different pages, which I like. Sorry about the mess up, but now you know how to do the mirrored page <laughs> the right way <laughs> after I messed it up initially but see it was we were able to fix it so not a problem but yes i do like that i added those little rhinestones i think it just adds a little something and it looks really sweet and i do like that i use the book corners too so there you have it guys uh part one of our minte time of wonder collection and We'll be making lots more projects, but I hope you enjoy this first set of tutorials. Sorry they were so long, but you know when you're, you're making an album like this, even with all the prep that I did ahead of time, you miss things or you forget things or, you know, it's just a lot. And there's a lot of explaining and measurements to go through. But I always want you to be able to reproduce exactly what I made if you choose to do so. So with that, I will say... God bless you all. Be well, take care, and bye for now.